everyone. This is Kathy Mason from Mason Works Marketing here on Conscious Business Zone with my new friend, Leanne Curtis. Hi, Leanne. Hi. Hi. Getting so, ready for some extra dragon energy. Ooh. ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. A little hot here this morning. Okay. Thank you, audience. Okay. So, um, yeah, the audience will be giggling right with us. Um, so. so I want everyone to know how I met Leanne. Leanne and I and a whole bunch of other people, Rob and Omar, put together a thing called Humanity Unplugged, which was an 11 day program that streamed to six different YouTube channels that was unbelievably cool. I mean, I'll still be watching all the videos from it for days, well, months. Well, I should say more than days, months because I don't have the time during every day. It's so much good stuff. And these were not people that were just um, conspiracy type people. These were people that had PhDs and books and and um, had opposing ideas, but not egoically um, holding their space. It was unbelievable. And Leanne was the cheerleader behind the scenes. Keeping <laughs> All of us. Oh, you were your energy is so wonderful. So okay. I wanted to bring her on and introduce her to you as a resource for music or or art or whatever. She's just a multi-talented being. And I wanted to to thank her so much because of the way you interact with everyone. You just bring joy to everything. You really do. You really do. So with that. So Leanne, tell me about your, I, I read your bio and I, and it's in the con, it's in the information here, but you speak French fluently and you speak, it speak English fluently. How did you, how did all of that happen? Did you go to a French school or did you live in France? I've never lived in France. Okay. I, I think about it sometimes <sighs> like more recently. Um, I have thoughts about that, but that's another lane on the same freeway. Um, it, it, it's, gosh, DNA. It's DNA, you know. My matriarchal line. Is French? Is French. Okay. And I have, I don't know where I've put it, but I have a parchment somewhere here that I keep close. Um, it, it's, I, I feel it here in this room. I know it's here. Um, but it goes back to the late 1500s and there's a coat of arms in the middle. And um, the story I know is that our French side goes back into royalty and um, the, the line goes into a family name de la roche foucault and those guys are i mean you can look them up like i started doing a little genealogy and i have to admit that even for this multi-dimensional being it gets really overwhelming and sometimes quite frustrating so i have to like do it in little bites and step away so that being said um my mom was raised by a, a french woman and a russian man mm -hmm. um never taught russian spoke French and as she grew up, she had the feeling of like separation and having no like real cemented root anywhere because her mom was this and her dad was there and that left her just sort of swishing in some un uncategorizable you know, and there's frustration with that blobbiness and not being able to self-realize or de self-define oneself. Right. Which leads into a topic of how they were all programmed and how there's like a real, like, I wouldn't have believed this parasitic <laughs> thing that like, you know, you're programmed to literally be addicted to fear and then the Joe Dispenza stuff comes in and then your body gets like the chemical messages like we're only just describing like what happens in a manner that Joe Schmo can understand. Like right. it's not some Tibetan mystic, whatever. It's very scientific, you know? And when people start focusing on quantum, which is not what we were talking about, and this is what I do all 
the time. <laughs> so my mother passed this uh, bilingual thing on to me. Okay. You know, and it was traumatizing for her to be bilingual. And I never thought about that aspect of it until like now in her old age, she's repeating things over and over and just this sense of drear that's always there. I don't know that that's an organic thing. I think that that was a programmed thing. So anyway, she decided <clears throat> that, and she's right. If you teach a child two languages as it grows up, its mind will be more open. That's right. Less hyper focused and more like it's easier to allow other and different without getting oh, you're different. I gotta kill you. <gasps> like, <no. laughs> well, that was past lives anyway. Well, okay. So the reason oh, I yeah. wanted to ask all of this is, I honestly, I think there's a lot that we have in common. Um, I grew up with um, Polish and Russian. And um, and I speak two languages. I speak Italian, but I'm really rusty, really, really rusty. I haven't lived there. I went to school there five different times. And then when you sent over some of the pictures about vaudeville and everything, we have to go to that too. My grandfather's side. Yeah, my grandfather danced on vaudeville. I wouldn't be surprised if he danced on a circuit with my grandma and her. Well, sister. and then no. this is my mother. Oh, with Victor Mature from the yeah. Rogue. Do you remember that movie? I do. Like, and I can. Yeah, it's it's not a competition, but you know, like uh, uh, Jack Benny was in love with my grandma. Like, and it's I wouldn't be here had that consummated. Like, I know well, he could have been my daddy. <laughs> Victor Mature. Yeah, you don't know. Maybe he is. <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> I'm so uh. I don't think so. I'm number four out of five. Still I'm not, it's the silk. It's it, no. <laughs> no, well, when you sent over stuff, it was like, wow. Because honestly, um, my parents and grandparents wanted to acclimate and be American. Right. So they, you they English when you're in America. That's right. But that whole mentality of like, but they came to America to have a better life. So it's not. I think there's more involved there. Like the guy that I have helping me on this lawsuit, um, but there's no non-disclosure agreement. Wise Music, Bob Wise stole my mother's copyright and then continued lying to her and emotionally traumatizing her from 2011 through present. And um, I didn't know like it's a real thing. I, You couldn't make it up. So I'll be talking about that very publicly very soon. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I don't know anything about that's that. Okay. But that's not, that's not, that's not, mm, I want, there's a way to transmute that too. And once I figure it out, I'll tell the story. Okay. Well, I mm. wanted to go from, from your origin of being multilingual, which, which really is an expansive, it's like the difference. It, it's a, it's an expanded mind because the cultures and the, um, like the romance languages you feel the words, you feel the colors, you mm -hmm. feel, yeah. it's not like English, which is like German, which is. Uh, 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 yeah, it's, harsh. it's a harsher language. Like, and I've even noticed that Portuguese from Lisbon, <laughs> but the Brazilian is like, like soft, yes. like an other nasal shit. Like, and I don't know if that has to do with um, being close to like the south of France. I'm really bad at geography, but it's all like sort of there, like Spain, Portugal, France. It's right there, you know. And and quand on vient de la sud de France, quand on parle avec un très accent, très très, ce n'est pas le français comme ça que ça c'est joli, ça c'est joli. C'est cela, ce n'est pas très joli du tout. It's very like, yeah. you know. Yeah. So there, even within the French language and even within the Romance languages, there are aspects of them that are just a little weird, like not. Ooh. Well, well, the thing, what, would I, um, the reason why I brought it up again is the expanded mind, the willingness to accept other other things. There isn't only a one way, which it is like a, another narrative about where humans come from and what the Earth is and how the <laughs> Earth is a living planet and how well, all this horse oh, that's, stuff that's we've been okay, programmed so with. Yeah. Uh -huh. How about Project Looking Glass? How you doing? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. How about how about all of it? How about every conspiracy theorist should get a major apology from every 
ridiculer everywhere because okay, the ridiculers so, are this, this, and this. Okay, because before we go to that, you before, can't unsee it when you see it from a different. And like, if you can allow yourself to see it from different and stop being so rigid like German and English and be a little more romance language and feel your way through. Like, here's your bullshit detector. Not this, not this, not this, this. Here, 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 here. They say, if you feel from here, it's, if, if you're piggy, it's fear. If you feel from here, it's intuition. Nobody gets taught this as children. You get taught, don't touch fire. Okay, be scared of elementals. Great. That's nice. Let's separate from all the things that we are. Well, they, they did the best that they could. They did the best that they could during for for what they knew too. You know, they right. were just trying to, to what you know, survive. You they were trying to have you survive their life. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but we're not here to survive somebody else's life. We're here to create our own. Like that's that's the wrong message too. Like change that narrative. Okay, so hold on one sec, okay? <laughs> I'm going to redirect you to what I would love for you to talk to you about. Okay, I want to know about Rudolf Steiner's work and wow. your experience with it because you are so fortunate. There's a Rudolf Steiner school here, and I know lots of people that have studied it. I have not. Some of these people, they are so um, expanded in their worldview, mm -hmm. and they're so they're they're cautiously optimistic. Mm -hmm. um, but he, what was he? I mean, he was like a prophet. The way he foretold human nature and explained what I mean, he he saw what's happening right now. Right. I'm going to say something right now. Rudolf Steiner never made any outlandish, by society's uh, definition, claims of coming from Venus. I don't think he was um, comfortable saying things like that. But if somebody were to say, oh, yeah, Rudy and I had some pillow talk and he told me once that he was from Sirius, like, come on, come on. Like, where are we all from? And how many of us are open conduits or have been, I, I hate the word chosen, because I think we choose ourselves. Like, we choose how open we're going to be, you know? So I, I really feel like Rudolf Steiner was a major, wide, open conduit for a narrative had the globe followed this the timeline may have come together faster. Like there have been so many opportunities for timelines to come off of all these little side tributaries that they've been perverted to. Like I'll say, look at me moving like a snake. It's like, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's been perverted. Like, and everybody believes the perversion. Not everybody. Like, and, and little by little, they can't stop people hearing what we're saying. Like, even if you and I were having this casual conversation at Starbucks, you know, somebody would hear it. Somebody would have their own private thought. The thought goes into the field. The field receives the thought. It's there for everybody and for everybody and for everybody. Should they be like, where do ideas come from? The planet has an electromagnetic field. The government knows that. Our thoughts go into our own electromagnetic field. That's the government right. knows that, too. Why is that not taught in biology? Right. We're only taught about what the biology itself does. But what does, where'd that come from? And how come that keeps regenerating? Like, what is this? I think that um, we're in this time of disclosure and change and a awakening where people are saying that the narrative doesn't make sense anymore. And that's Good. what you're talking about. But but the the gig is to embody your soul. And that's where your superpower is when you bring it into this reality and cook right. it at that level. So but you have to be aware that that's an actual thing, first of all, and that it's a tangible thing. But if you're not taught that, then how can you be aware of something that has just been kept for, like lies by omission? <laughs> uh, see, I see. I'm not sure I was taught it. I just discovered it. I mean, when I'm in the flow, that's like being in the flow. When you're when you're painting, like you do art, you do music, you do all this creative work, 
uh, yoga, when you're in that flow, that that isn't taught. You found that as a small child. Yes. You, you found the delight of it. And so as an adult, you go, I want more of that. Right. Well, it's it's the same as like when people in the chat, like I was noticing in the light language deliveries, people are saying, oh, can somebody give a course and teach light language? Well, it's not like French and Spanish. It's not like that. You can't, you can, you can teach somebody how to let go of ideas. They have the free will to or not to drink the water like the horse, right? Yeah. yeah. You know? So then at what point do you just say, okay, well, and I'm just learning this. I just have to be me. Like, you know, just because I'm a light worker, like I don't even like calling myself that because it's just, I'm here to be me and model being me. And if that helps anybody, great. And if somebody likes the content that I channel through myself, like, and would like to exchange money energy for that too. But I'm never going to say like, I'm a channel and I found my way to this and my, like, I'm going to teach you a way to like, that's not for me to teach somebody. That's for somebody to discover themselves and monetizing that. I'm not comfortable. Myself. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I, I, I'd rather I, do it through my content. Like I, I understand from where I come from journey to Hollywood, you make content, you own your content, people license it and then put it out for everybody else to see. Like it's a, tear things uh -huh. like that that's it, it, it and it's not that if i were shown a different template i couldn't adapt in that i could but then when things just make no sense to me i have a really hard time dealing with blob okay so so but this is what i have to say to that and i hope I hope it makes sense to you, okay? It'll I'm, help me. I'm sure it'll help me because I'm, <laughs> no, I, you well, are so brilliant. Okay, Thanks. so I think that everybody that's here is here. They, they chose to play the game before mm. they came into physical. And they, whatever, and they're all divine beings. Everybody here has, even, even the people that appear evil in the game, <laughs> they're, still, they're still divine beings. Right. And so from my perspective in 3D, even if I go up higher, I can't really um, judge what's right for them. Right. I can only judge what's right for me, for me and try to find more people that are like me to play with. Right. That, I get that. Yeah. Right. That's, that's what we're doing here. <laughs> yeah. Well, absolutely. Like I'm finding a new family, like friend family, you know, I'll call you family. <laughs> as 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 I go, you know, I mean, first I was an observer in the community, then like I became a participant in the chats. And then because I'm who I am, I have no problem just emailing strangers and going, hi, it's me. You want to play? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and some of them are like, yeah, no, <laughs> you know, and others are like, oh, that's kind of cool. So, so like I'll hang out with the, those people. So that's why I wanted to say is that if somebody else is comfortable teaching, um, uh, teaching Tai Chi, Qigong, um, light language, any of those things that seem seem like a natural to you. Yeah. Oh no, no, they're kids. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. I, that I sounded very critical. I guess. Yeah. That well, no. What the thing is, is you were lucky enough to not have any blocks to you. You probably as a small child had light language and then you're rediscovering that part of you, Leanne. I mean, you, you, I didn't even know you did light language until you were on the thing and you started doing it. I was like, oh my God, I, I, what a resource you would have been to be have, uh, have a whole hour, give yourself a whole hour on on the event that we just did, what was called Enlightened Pathways, you guys said. Right. Well, but nobody knows until they see. Like, I figure I just do this stuff because it's helping me. Like, that's what I mean. Like, it's helping me. And like, if somebody like Kathy notices, oh shit, she does that too. <laughs> like, and then the other day in the intro, like for that, when I did light language, I guess for Omar on that, like, and he was very, kind to allow me to speak at the beginning and then 
all I remember, literally, all I remember is going, I, and like, it, it, I it's started like, it, it, not I, not I, and then that thing happened again. And next thing I know, I'm saying, so I don't remember what I said. And I didn't go back and look either. That was completely channeled. I have no idea what I said. Like, and I'm not as far along as some people, like, and I want to say, yeah, I think that was probably the being that has the web in her forehead, the blue skinned, that, that's who talks or possibly like this vibe. I have oh, a cool. when my friend, Well, when my friend Isabel saw that, she was like, oh shit, that's Mary Rodwell. You know, Mary from a different place, from the blue place. And then I tried to get Mary's attention, but because I'm so sometimes it's difficult to get the energy I'm feeling through human words. And I get very like, and then it just, that people would have that. And I think Mary had that a little bit. She's like, you know, I'm a little busy. Here's some lady in New York that I trained. You can see her. And I was just kind of like, no, uh, no. <laughs> Wait, so you don't know what being that is or what, where you're from and all of that. Uh, I know I had a conversation with Alex Collier and again, I was wound up and he said, well, you're wound up tighter than a drum. <laughs> Shocking anybody would say that to me. <laughs> how could anybody come with that? Um, he said, how can I help you? Like, he really he was like, how can I help you? And I was like, I don't know. He's like, why are you calling me? I was like, I have no idea. I'm just supposed to call you. And I don't know what that is. So we keep talking. And he's like, so when's your birthday? I said, July 11th, 1965. There's this silence. So I fill it really quickly and go, when's your birthday? Because <laughs> I didn't know what else to say. He's like, July 11th, 1956. I was like, uh. Then he said, it's nice to not see you. It's nice to, like, I know you. Experience you. Again. And I'm like, oh, what? And then I got in this Alex Collier swirl, like Alex Collier rabbit hole. And I was like, you know, I said, can I call you? Do I have to pay to talk to you? And he's like, no, you can call me, whatever. And then, like, all you need to do is invite me in. And then he's like, I want to hear some of your music. Well. There's lots of that. <laughs> Mr. Collier got like literally the Leanne tsunami at him. Mr. Collier. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Not really. But, you know, you can take it. <laughs> like, if, if he's been through, like, what is this going to do to that guy after everything he's been through? Like, a little Leanne tsunami, you know, maybe it's good for him. What do I know? Probably, of course. <laughs> I mean, everything, I, I think everything is in divine order. We just might not, I know, kitty, kitty. I And I hear the birds in the background, too. They are. So, but I had so. to. And you're, you're in a, an apartment or a house in, or a, a condo in New York City. <laughs> and you got all these animals and your mom. I've got my mom. I've been like uh, madly planting. I feel bad when I throw away seeds. Like I, I, I core my apples and I just look at the seeds. And a lot of times I'll just put them in. I've got so many apple trees growing. Up in really? I do. I have apple trees. I just sprouted another five or six oranges. I put them in little. I don't like throwing away the stuff. Like I, I keep the Tupperware. My kids think I'm nuts. <laughs> But like all the apple sauce containers, you just put them in the giant Ziploc with wet dirt and put the thing and put it on the radiator. And it in a couple of weeks, you look, oh, look, they're little green things. Nice. So then you move them and then you get them bigger in the yogurt containers that you don't want to throw away. Then there are the bigger yogurt containers. Like who needs to go buy plastic from Home Depot? That's I got it. I got a drill. I can drill holes in it. Like, and then you use the top for the bottom saucer. Like it's. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Like all my Starbucks cups with whipped cream, those are all my Mantis containers. Oh. Like I don't need to go buy more plastic. I have like people would be so surprised at how you really don't have to get anything. You can repurpose almost like I could do a life hack, a Leanne life hack show. You could, you could. The things I get away with. Okay, so I, I want to go back to your music because we're we're, we're, okay. we're <laughs> well, Leanne, come back, Leanne. <laughs> it, Actually, I want to go back to Stein, Rudolf Steiner. Yes, more. I think he was. Can we go um, more to him? Yes. I want to learn from you. I, I'm trying to learn. 
Okay, my guest is left. No, I'm right there. <laughs> I'm trying to find. This is a first. <laughs> you know, she's the here. Like, oh my god, no. it's so funny. One of the things about coming back to ground zero at the end of the year. <laughs> The end of the year, Mrs. Palesti, that was our teacher from, for me, middle of third grade to eighth grade, would take all of our art that had either been up or whatever and hand it back. That was one of the oh. good things, getting your art back at the end of the year. It was one of my favorite things. And I found some stuff, man. Like, here's one that I drew that I actually flattened out. Rudolph Steiner is amazing. Like, I don't know. I was just channeling this. I don't know who that is. Wow. How old were you when you did this one? I think this was either eighth or ninth grade. Uh huh. It was in Mrs. Lawrence. Robin Lawrence was our art teacher and then uh -huh. became our advisor. She's Australian. What a surprise. Not really. She's still alive. Wait. So I drew that or oh. painted that. We were working in watercolor. Yeah, I love watercolor. I like watercolor and I really, and I used to do, um, chalk you know the ch kind of chalk that you could smush yeah but like here it is like i've always been obsessed with like i was little this is like oh cool nine, ten, I, and this camera's always you would think i'd be good at mirror image on camera at this point but clearly you know but this is 1977 1976 oh wow look at that I'm doing stuff like this so when I'm watching Gaia Network and I'm listening to Matias Di Stefano, because at that point it was just like his first season, you know, and I'm going, where are my geometry books? I need to draw geometry. There's a compass over here. Like I'm back at ground zero. My mom kept shit. Like there's my compass. I have a little, my, my crayons, my beeswax crayons from one third, fifth grade. Like I have, oh my like, gosh, so I good. have my stuff. This is my room. I grew up at this den is my from 12 or 13 till I left for LA, this is my room. Like I'm in my space. Wow. Like, and, and, and. <sighs> wow. That's a lot of people don't go back to ground zero to self-realize. No, no, my, right? I didn't, I couldn't. Well, you're lucky that you still have your mom. Well, I mean, maybe. Yes. Yes. And every day, like I looked at her the other day and this might sound cruel to some people, but I looked at her and I was like, it's not your fault that you were programmed the way you were programmed. But honestly, every day you wake up and behave the way you do. And I love you and you're free to do whatever you want. But this self-sabotage, this whole addiction to drear, it's like, and your body's addicted to it and Parkinson's and she shakes and all this stuff. Like, I, I feel like her motherboard is fried. Well, yeah, from a medical here. condition. It's a spiritual condition. Well, um, if we think that, um, if you think about it, we're projecting this physical from non-physical, right. from right? Right. So, we keep giving so, it messages to X, Y, Z, like wave your arm, be funny. Well, I, I wish I could, like, I could give. I wish I could give mine to get taller. <laughs> they have an app for that. No. <laughs> oh, okay. So back, back to so um, Steiner. Steiner. Think, yeah. He's amazing. He was a seer. He was a channeler. He was a seer of of truth and how things actually work in the energy world. I think he really was able um, through his teachings teachings essays like the fact that there was some kind of a syllabus in a school that started i think it was 1919 the first right. one opened so you know funny. like I, I feel like we weren't allowed to watch tv we weren't so, either i could watch on the weekends i had one i could watch a thursday well i watched star trek that was oh, the only show so i could, watch, I could so, watch one during the week and that was star trek yeah i <laughs> completely blew that off like i was already <sighs> the idea that i was at le lycée francais learning like the analytical the academia my mom is like super academic she's super smart and she's super elite and she always had a staff and sounding a little scary to you like this is what i was raised by no I me mean, too big well it gets it gets it gets like did you go to well and you went to private school i did too 
to private Are you school. wearing a uniform? The, yes, at the Lycée Francais, at you Steiner, no. But the Steiner teacher and my mom, oh, she didn't like that my mom was raising me to be like a little elite. Yes. Like I knew how to eat artichoke when I was five. Me too. What American, right. I love what American kid. How many of your friends came over and went, what the hell is that? And you had to teach them how to eat an artichoke. Like, yeah. this is it. Leanne, same, year. same year. Fine. So did that. <laughs> my mom taught me to be separate and better than, but I never felt that. Like, so my head was telling me one thing. My heart was telling me another. Yeah. My mom was giving me like the world. And I was so spun out. Like, all I could do to make myself feel better was like, I just have to go get a boyfriend and, and have a boyfriend because that'll make me feel better because I lost my dad when I was five. So I thought that that's what my problem was because that's what I was told. Like, it's because your father died that you're like this. Oh. oh. There was so much. Your dad died when, when you were five? Uh? Your dad died when he, he, you were five? Yeah. And, and yeah. Like, and I have no... He he was he was um well see you know born into a vaudeville family of eccentric people like you saw that article of my grandmother walking the fox like I talk about that article and I've never been able to find it find it <laughs> looking Kathy's like find a picture for me and I go to my file and I'm like uh oh oh no I have to send her this oh shit I have to send her that well, you, you know what I could show you a picture of my grandmother and grandfather walking in San Francisco with the dog they're walking a dog mm. a poodle and she's got the fur on and he's got the whole i mean the that's why i said when i saw this stuff it was like oh my god no wonder why we have a connection mm. there's so much there's right it's a vibe it's a vibe like you eat salad after dinner like i'm still <laughs> horrified when i go to restaurants and i order a salad and they try to give it to me before my entree i'm like what are you doing yeah. Uh, no, I, I've, I've kind of gotten into that, but, but um, I think, <clears throat> I think what we're trying to say is that my program wasn't great and it's taken me a lot and I'm still deprogramming from this stuff. And I see my mom and it's because she was programmed that she behaves like this and it makes me like, and here it is. So Why do you think you see it's, it though? No, because for me, it's not that I don't want to allow her to. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I have no problem. Like I'm very transparent. It's not that I don't. <sighs> Watching somebody you love so deeply be so entrenched in the programming and when you can access her higher self and when you explain to her what's up, she gets it intellectually and is horrified. Oh. But can't let go of the behavior because it's so familiar. And so you just see somebody you love trying to ascend. It's hard to watch somebody struggle. You know? I think a lot of people are in the same boat. They're watching. They, they've awakened. They took they took the red pill. Right. They, they've awakened. And, and they're old. watching and everyone around them, and and they just go, okay, well, it's your journey. I mean, right. But that doesn't make me not feel sad. It's like it's beyond sad it's like a kind of a devastation of my beloved you, you you're not remembering who you are before you go like and i know she wants to oh. so i just try to model what i'm remembering and use vocabulary that i know but because she's programmed the way she is like the way, like my husband always says the medium is the message and, and he uses it, I've been told not exactly correctly, but I don't wanna get into that. Like, but the way I bring the message isn't always compassionate because I'm so devastated. And then that sometimes turns into just so frustrated. And it reminds me of my regression where I feel like I've been here before and I've tried to show and i've been 
everything from burned at the stake to ridiculed to whatever. So you just learn to shut up and like, whatever. And I don't know. I don't want to shut up. Like, no. And if yeah. she, she wants help, I don't know how to help her without getting frustrated. And then it turns into not very compassionate. And I just prefer not to hang around with people who are programmed like that. And then the conundrum of, but that's my mama and I love her. And it's just like swirl. And all that happens in a split second. Right. I right. just described and it took me so long with words. Like you have a thought and in a split second, like it's faster than light, all this shit that I just vomited at the world. Sorry. Um, well, well, okay. So what, what I would like to say is I think you with the, uh, first of all, I want to, um, really give you a lot of kudos for what you're doing with your mom. I mean, this is a precious opportunity for you to have with her as she's, um, starting to go and you've been there for a long time taking care of her. So I want to really acknowledge how fabulous you are that you've done that. And I believe that all of this stuff we planned before. We yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. It's a soul agreement. It's a soul agreement. And I feel like I'm working off so much karma <laughs> have to get to the point where I don't get frustrated and I don't say mean things so that I don't have to then show myself compassion. It's like, I can skip falling in that hole maybe one day. I haven't quite gotten there yet. Like, cause we agreed on a very postcards from the edge relationship you know her birthday is uh november 7th 11 7 my birthday 7 11 like oh, post post secrets yeah, yeah. she's quiet post -secrets. Um, yeah like we're we couldn't be more <laughs> so it's it's and i guess where i was going like it might sound harsh to come full circle but every day i thank her like i get past all that and thank her for like literally sacrificing herself to play the role of this programmed fucking asshole who can't snap the fuck out of it. Oh my God. If I have to say it one more time, I'm going to flip my shit. Mom. She's like, I understand. Then do something. Uh, okay. yeah. ah, like <laughs> it gets like that and it's every day, but maybe one day it'll be like that. Maybe we can get to a place where, you know, and it's funny because there's forgiveness within the room. Right, right. Wow. It's wow. It really I didn't know it was that hard. I didn't know. I mean, I, I know it would be hard to to be in close quarters oh. and not go back into the role playing that you had as a child with your every time I go in that room, it's like walking into a thick she says, what is that swishing around? She sees things. She sees things. Who's that sitting in the corner? What does she look like? Very long, skinny. I said, really? What color? Gray. Is She's got a veil over her head. I said, is her, what size is her head? She said, it's a, much too big for her body. And I'm going, uh-huh. So, And there's a veil over her head. Gee, because maybe they're presenting that way because if she saw the big eyes, she'd get scared. And we don't want to do that. Like, we're trying to... I shut the news off when I got here. I love CNN. No, you don't. We're done, CNN. No, yeah, thank you. we're done. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, that frequency just, it's programming. That's why they call it programming. Right. <laughs> TV programming. I've said that forever. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. want to be a part of programming people. Like, I would rather, I would rather come up somehow like even if it takes me till I can't breathe or write anymore, like I I would love to somehow within everything else I'm doing, create some kind of a syllabus that goes through school, even if it starts as an after school program about like, what is human being and like make it an ACE program after, after extracurricular something, whatever they call it, like for kids whose parents work like okay well you can sneak in and teach kids if your parents are okay with like how do you meditate what are chakras you bring this into the public schools you bring it into like kindergarten through five like forget working and facilitating through art and music let's take go go back before that physical or the body work physicality what is a light being? What's your luminous body? How many bodies do I have? How many cells are there? Well, Eckhart Tolle can tell you. Like, you know, how, these questions, like I remember falling asleep and I've said this publicly before. Like I remember when I was little and it makes, every time I remember this, 
It makes more sense. Who am I? And I would get this flash of a nebula. And for a split second, I'd be like, and then it went away. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So they were letting me remember for a split second, for a split second, we'll tell you, but then you got to go back. Like I would have, like, if that's like a mini quantum bifurcation in like a split moment, like being well, allowed to remember. So, for a second. Leanne, I have, to, I do readings. Um, and I, I have seen people that look like galaxies when in their future state, because I see uh, their- Maybe I am a galaxy. Somebody said, what do you see in these tea leaves? I said, it's a galaxy making itself into a, it's something, it's it's energy making itself into a galaxy. That's what I saw and the, the goosebumps are going crazy on me right now. What's happening, Kathy? I don't know, just good energy. Just good energy. You're Okay, so, so um, this is Conscious Business Zone and a lot of the people that watch this are servant leaders. They um, give a lot of their energy to their customers and to their employees. They, they, um, and I do believe leadership um, in uh, small businesses and conscious businesses is part of the way we're going to make the big change. We're going to change yeah. education. We're going to change everything because it's it's love based. It's not. It's it's serve being in service based. It comes from here. It's not like, what can I think to serve myself? It's not that. It's right, not right, right. Well, well, it's it's a co-creative environment where it's more like play. So the energy is higher because it's, right. happy. it's not, I got to do it. It's like, I get to do it. It's a whole different thing. And so why I wanted you to come on is I, I know you have, um, you have resources that people that listen to this show might be interested in in working with you okay. to get music or art or I mean because for everybody that does a meditation they need art to put as the as a cover art even if it's a digital little square on their website they okay. need art for each thing they need music and I see you as a resource for a lot of the people I work with and the people that follow this because um, they don't have time to find people and you would be hard to find. I found you just by chance, by being part of the team, part of the- Well, the, that was part of our agreement, Kathy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> what'd you say? I said it was part of our agreement. Dude. Oh, I guess so. I but, guess so. but anyway- nice so. to see you, finally. It took us a minute to find each other. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I, I know. I, I, I just, when I meet people, like there's times where I've met people and I knew they were in an angel, they were an angel and they didn't know. Mm. And then they, it, then it all sort of revealed, Oh, I'm an angel. Yeah. 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 Of course. Of course I knew that. Um, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how I know anything I just do. So, and I trust. Yeah, right. Exactly. Why, like, do I have to have a degree to know that something is nefarious? No. No. Do I no. have to have a degree in biology or science to know that, um, like, problems are created so that they can push a solution that's nefarious on, like, lots of people? No. Like, that's the first thing I said. As soon as the first, I was don't like, don't wow. Don't go there. Don't go Whatever. there. You know? So I didn't. I didn't. I'm just being very I, I already I know, know better. Being general. No, 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 I know better. But I'm just saying, just the general, the general pattern of let's create a problem because we have this thing that we need to do. So we need to create a problem so that we can. Um, but but see, it. this is right. what, the bigger picture is that we stood in line to get these bodies to be here right now. Right. So that we can not have this big change and we're turning the ship around and more and more and more of us are waking up. Um, and then a lot of the people I work with and I consider myself a bridge from, from the, right. the way mystical to the practical, practical, mystical. There's something that could be practical, mystical. Like, I don't know why, like you can have a comedy and a drama. You call it a dramedy. Why can't we have <laughs> practical? mystical? We can make a new word. I know. Oh my God. I work. I, I, I'm around so many people that make up words. And I'm sure. <laughs> I still want to talk to Jay, man. Like Jay, come on, man. Talk to me, dude. We need my music. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, but, but what, what we're talking about honestly is, is an opportunity to um, work with someone who's highly creative, has already created all this amazing music and art and, uh, and, um, I, I don't know um, how they would connect with you. What's the best way? Well, 
like at this point, like my, my old self would be like, well, call my agent and then we could set something up. I don't have one of those right now. I don't have one of those. So you can find me on Facebook. I know that's really weird. Um, no, that's I've weird. done most of my business on Facebook Messenger of all bizarre things. Us old people like to use Facebook Messenger to do things. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but okay. You can find me on Facebook. You can find some of my music on SoundCloud. As much as there is up there, there's still more in the hard drive. <laughs> Great. Um, and Vulcan A Music with dashes in between. Vulcan A Music. Vulcan, V A L V U L C A N dash A dash music. It was a way to give my dad a little kiss. My dad isn't Chim Chim, but my dad was um, a voice character in Speed Racer. So, yeah, so, so, and he used to have um, Vulcan Productions and he always wanted to make horror films. But wow. like, he actually wanted to make horror films. He actually did make a horror film called The Flesh Eaters. Anyway, so Vulcan A Music. And it's also because I have a foul mouth and I, I envision some old broad, like on Barney Miller, like that woman, <laughs> answering the phone for me going, Vulcan A, can I help you? <laughs> right, and having somebody either do that or just be so miffed and insulted, like how how dare you talk to me? Oh my God. Just answer the phone, like what? Oh my anyway, God. Anyway, so Vulcan A music, Vulcan, that's how you can remember it. Vulcan A, Vulcan A. <laughs> <laughs> Vulcan A potty mouth music see, on see that's what, and and Spock's in yeah it, it, it makes it, it's 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 very uh it's, it's yeah very logical Vulcan A. so Vulcan so A. what tell me tell me what you're thinking about for 2022 are you are you feeling like um this is your year to shine and that everything's opening up you're finding your tribe you're finding people to, to play with are you, are you feeling yeah like yeah i feel running? like I'm, I'm still i'm still i'm i'm optimistic like the words cautiously optimistic came into my head because i'm like i feel like until paulette makes her transition there's still a lot of self-work like i'm not quite ready i mean i am and i'm not like whatever i'm ready for whatever i've attracted to myself otherwise it wouldn't show up um, but yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm finding my ground. I'm feeling more confident in, um, visualizing a path forward. Um, I would love to be able to collaborate with others who have, uh, visuals that might need music to sync up to. Please come find me. I did a nice little intro for Omar Faizi for his watchers talk. Hopefully I pronounced his last name correctly. <laughs> like, God knows people have taken a lot of time to get my name right. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's hard. David Suskind used to call me Lainey Lewis. <laughs> He was David Suskind. And then, then his only acting direction to me was, Lainey, could you do it again, but be a little more bubbly. <laughs> okay, I'll effervesce for you slightly more, <laughs> sir. Like, oh don't direct, God. Dave. Don't do it. It's all okay. I'm anyway, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. So, little, little yeah. Sidebar. Um, yeah, sidebar. Right, but it'll like if you work with me, it's fun. It's not conventional. I say almost anything. Um, so if you're not comfortable with stream of consciousness and no filter, maybe just you know, I don't know, be cautious stepping into the Leanne zone. <laughs> well, you know, you have, you have to be you have to be in a playful mood too, which is what's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, yeah. And do you need The, oh, the cat or I'm trying to climb up the dresser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my daughter, cat. It's okay. She's coming to pick Oliver up in a week. I'll be very sad. I might have to replace it with some straight. Oh, cat. no, you might. Have... How does the cat work with the birds? Is that okay? Um, some cats not okay, but every cat that has been mine, um, I've never had a problem with cat bird issues. Ever. Okay. Like, as much as Oliver likes to lunge at the doves and the pigeons and like jumps up at the air conditioner, like, but after four months, the doves just now look at him like, what are you doing? <laughs> Whatever. Can't like, touch me. <laughs> they they get get mad. Like, yeah. stop, leave them alone. They're allowed to, but they don't go out. He doesn't go after the parrots. Like, and I've seen cats kill my friend's 
Like I've seen bad things, but never in my house. Good. I'm, good, good. I'm the ornery one in my house. <laughs> Anybody's going to be doing the killing. Like, oh, well, I I'm a creative so. genius. And I look forward to, to a lot of people finding you from this um, interview and hopefully um, eventually get you get a website and get all sorts of stuff all set up so people can work with you easy, easily. And that, that this is a, a, a path for joy for you. It yeah. is. I have so much fun making music and making funnies and talking to people. Like my favorite thing I think is to just talk to people and, and ask questions and try to listen and not interrupt. I think that the most difficult or challenging thing for me is to not go in all directions because my mind just fires so like it, the thoughts are so fast that my mouth can't keep up. And, and like, you know what they do to kids who say that back in the old days, have a pill. Like, no, this is what people actually are. Like you are multidimensional and it's normal to have 8 million thoughts fire off when somebody presents you with a concept because you're resonating with and then expanding it into the field with your thoughts. Like, and then whatever you grab and want to bring into physicality, you can. Like, this is why they say we're creators. Like, we're just so bogged down with this other nuts. Well, I, I think language, I think you hit the nail on the head. Language reduces the quality of what all those thoughts are. And if you right. go from your, your feelings Right. Whether it's down here or up here, if you go from there, I mean, that's what when I started doing, it started trying to explain what I do. I kept on saying, I don't have words or I'd get right. this huge download like this. And then it would take a week to process Put out what translate like somebody said, can you right. translate your light language? I'm like, mm, I'd rather not have to intellectualize it, really, because that's not where it, it doesn't come from here. I don't want to force it up into here and then make it come out in English. I oh, but, but the I thing is, is that we can feel the resonance of it, right? right? So, right. so right. that for the people that it's for, it hits the mark. The people oh. that, because, because they were, we're, we're, we have three brains. The heart's the biggest one. You have right. the Nantian, the heart and, and this brain. And well, it's, it all works together. You've got the vagus nerve. <clears throat> it's the longest nerve in your whole body. It goes from your brain right down into your tummy. So when they say that there's a gut brain connection, it's not just blah, blah. It goes deeper than just the, the surface idea of there's a nerve that physically goes into your intestines. Like where's the energy around that? That's why when Dispenza has the most marvelous blessing of the energy center guided meditations, you know, this Dispenza work, like for me, it's not, maybe for everybody, but for me, it was a life changer. It was oh. a life changer. Like if, if I don't know, like a Kundalini experience, like honestly, I still, I do and don't know what the, but I know I was meditating once. And as soon as I was like, this is nuts. Or this was, I just was like, oh, his voice is so just like, and now I was like, whatever. Like I remember thinking, whatever. And as soon, like, that was like a switch when I've said, whatever, it's almost like I give up, I surrender. It was some kind of, uh -huh. next thing I knew I was in this tunnel, like, and it was these colors. And I was like, whoa, like I was shooting down this tunnel. And it was like, there was no sound mm -hmm. that I remember. There was no whoosh, but there was like just these vibrant colors like I've never seen here. And it felt like it was forever and it was also a split second and I've never had that again. But after that, it's like something shifted. Yeah. It's very subtle. And it's also subtle. Like in everything you see in the world, it's so loud. It drowns out this subtle, subtle stuff. So like for me, like it just, it really helped me blessing my energy centers and getting me right. Like I did the walking meditation, went down and sat on a rock. It might well have been a granite rock. It was warm from the sun. It was after the barricade stopped and I was literally feet from the Hudson River. A oh. duck landed. I saw geese. There was flotsam. There was just, you know, and just to go back to, and it was wonderful. And just to go back to something you said with words, turning the boat around. I don't know if anybody's familiar with sailing or maritime, turning a boat around. 
it's no easy task. Right. Every day, pretty much, I see this long boat come by 93rd and then it turns around and then goes back down. Takes like, a while. And it's funny that I have that in my face every day. Oh. Like, why doesn't it do that at 86th Street? It does it so Leanne can see it and be reminded. Turning the boat around is not an easy job. And you've been turning your boat around and you're doing a great job. That's right. The That's right. lands on my window and stares at me and I stare right back at it. And we're this close from each other. Like the hawk sees. Hawks follow me. In, at like I, I, It's reminding, like, don't think you're crazy. You are seeing what you see. Like, don't. It's also it gives you an idea of the bird's eye view. Yes, that too. Like, there's a reason I'm on the 15th floor. Like, and I have, wow, I'm just not sure if it's the remaining, like, anger vibration that's still, like, from the child who knew better, who was suppressed and just angry at the world for suppressing. Like, I feel like I'm, there's, there's a lot of, I feel like because I've done this before, it's like, oh, God, here we go again. Fuck the suppression. Oh, I'm going to get through these layers. Like, it's. <gasps> There's yeah, that but you're going to do it this time. Yeah, that's what I feel, like. I, feel like, I feel like. I feel like that. I feel yeah. like that. So maybe that's what 2022 is for me. And maybe this talk with you is a switch that flips something. I and hope maybe, so. You know, so I'm just. We can talk waiting. more. We can talk more off camera. That's fine. Off, off, I just off. thank you <laughs> so much for having me on today and for telling your world that I exist because that's. It's it's if nobody sees you, nobody knows you're there. And and thank you so much. Oh, I, you're a great resource, you. and people can see your genius. I, I I hope that we've we've given them an example of of your genius. But there's so much more. I mean, we couldn't get through everything in in an hour. So so okay. So once again, it's Vulcan Dash A Music. Yeah, and I think there's a dash between the A and the music too at soundcloud.com. Okay. I can put it in the um if this is on YouTube and if you guys circle back to the description or if I go yeah, into the comments, maybe somehow okay. I, I tried so hard not to pick up. My yeah, yeah, good, good. Yeah, well, uh, we haven't gotten a lot of comments, but I um, but I'm still gonna share this everywhere, so we'll get okay. more. And I put I put it up on all of my stuff like kind of very last minute this morning. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. You know, it, it's all perfect. This is all perfect. Everything's I, I think everything's in divine order. Everything's getting getting better and better. And um, there we're releasing just layers upon layers of fear. I mean, <sighs> generations of it. And so yes. you showing up. You showing up as this incredible. A creative divine being gives more and more people the opportunity to feel that it's safe for them to show up to. Well, it is safe, like, and it's so healing, and it's it's for me so blissful to make sounds and harmony, like harmony sounds. I love stacking harmonies. I'm a harmony junkie. I'm a, a, a blending colors junkie. Like, I, I'm so in my colors. Music is like the world goes away, and as soon as the first note starts, I'm on some kind of a sound journey and then it stops and then i'm back here anything from listening to a song that i like to just no words whatever it's just everything is like that for me okay so so i have to tell you i i have this wonderful um lady that i'd love to connect with her again her name's atasha and she's and she's uh Arcturian, and um she she's american indian and she lives, she has a family in Arcturus that lives with her down here as well as here. She has family and um, lives very minimalistically. Anyway, she, I have recordings. She did a presentation at the paranormal group maybe six years ago, maybe longer in um, sort of a suburb of Denver. And she played music that she said, you, if you do not understand that we will not come and talk to you, we will sing. Right. And she played a clip of it. And it was like, it's the harmony was like um, the fifth dimension. And um, I was like, I recognized it. And that's what you're, that's probably what you're doing is you're singing 
uh, and that is much light language. <laughs> well, you know, honestly, people, I think I've, I've re re evaluated is the wrong word, but I've re felt Brian Wilson. That guy's definitely from somewhere else. Yeah. He's not mentally ill and whatever drugs he went on, like if it cracked open some kind of a stargate, that's all it did. And people have completely misrepresented what that guy is about a hundred percent. He's other same, uh, but he's, not you know what i mean he's not just well, yeah. this. i i think there's lots started. of people that are showing up that are now knowing it's safe to come out and play and they're sharing their perspectives and well, that goes into the quantum instead of us all being afraid because in our past lives it wasn't safe at all um it, it's like rotate got to come back again yeah got to get right back to where we started from yep it's true we do like everybody go back to ground zero and fix it no just kidding um but not really um but like, really, what's ground zero like ground zero is source like back to where you well, you see, the thing is, is okay, so I'm going to, uh, we have to go, but I know. this is what I'd like to share. I think that we, the, the time that we're here is very short and we're quantum, we're multidimensional. So we're only part of us is down here. And so what happens is right now we came and embodied at this time so that we could help turn the boat around and be examples of what is possible because creation source wants co-creation at the cutting edge they don't want the old creation that's old energy the the they or the programmers or whatever this matrix is the idea was co-create 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 and and expand and what you're talking about what you're talking about with your mother with our conditioning that's contracted that is not right. It's not what the planet needs. Like she's right. going to purge this stuff. Like, and right. this is where, like, and we'll talk about this later. This is where it gets personal with my mom and me. I'm like, do you, are, are you really honestly like a parasite? Like, cause this is what ultimately your fear makes you a parasite to the earth. I don't want my mommy to be a parasite. Like, well, I, you, I, you, know, you, know, you, don't, you don't know though. You don't right. know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. See, I don't know. Like, you're judging. You're judging. I am. I am, but it's, yeah. it's the, 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 oh, the, the pattern, it's the turning that boat around to get that pattern of that response. So, to, so keep asking, how do I turn that boat? Yes, around? I do. How do I do this? How do I keep turning the yeah. boat around? every day? Dude. Yeah. Well, I, I really honor you and what you're doing with your mom. I think it's really, um, so many people just get, uh, somebody else to come in and live with, their parents or they put their parents in a home and here you are doing this or music. drug them to shut them up that's like. right yeah no i really honor what you're doing and i and I, my heart goes out to you Thank because you. my heart goes out to my mom because it can't be easy to wake like that's the thing i look at her and i'm like how are you so courageous to wake up in this body in this situation every day she wakes up <gasps> what a freaking warrior is she like offering herself to continue playing this role that frustrates the shit out of the idea of Leanne, uh -huh. you know, like in this completely bizarre, like, you know, and it's, 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 it's more fascinating to me than I am plugged into it a lot. Like, and I told her yesterday, it's like, we're both the observer and then our egos get into this shit. Like why, when are we going to stop doing that? Like I talk to her like that and oh, she's wow. like, no, it gets very boring. Like, and then I say, Hey mom, What's your name? And she tells me. And then I say, What's your social security number? And she goes, Da 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 da. I'm like, Okay. So she's still like, <laughs> Yeah. Well, so people that have Alzheimer and people, a lot of people that have these neurological things, they're only in their body part of the way. They're right. The rest in, of her they're, is they're in, in Peter's the treehouse. She's in Peter's treehouse. She's with the czar. She's with the Chinese wow. doctor and his daughter. Wow. Then she's with Dr. Russell and his daughter Emma. Then there are the twins. Like there's a whole you have no idea what I do. Oh, you, you should be are you recording all this? Some of it. I don't have the emotional stamina every day. Cause like I literally go to sleep at night. I will talk about this. But okay. and, and it, every day it starts and every day I'm relieved to just 
Aww. take a nice hot bath. Like Marianne Williamson was like, you take a shower in the morning to wash off yesterday. I was like, oh no, girl. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I get into a very hot bath and I soak that shit and it goes down the drain before I get into my dream time. And then I shake my dream time off with the light language to come back into this space. Aww. I'm sure that's what I do. Wonderful. You know, wonderful. Well, I'm time. sorry, we got to rock. Um, oh, we're, I love you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll talk again soon. And thank you. And please find uh, Leanne's work. I think that it's she's a great resource for all of you. Thank you. And I'm fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, who, <laughs> who doesn't want to have a giggle? Who doesn't want to have a giggle? Because that's what we're supposed to be doing here. We're supposed to, girls just want to have fun. Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> we'll take copyrights, Mac. Cindy, we didn't mean it. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>